Hello everyone and welcome to Everyday Seminar. Okay, before we move on to, to today's lesson, let's go through the solution to last week's homework. Okay, uh, just a reminder, remember the question was x over 5 plus 9 is equal to 6. Okay, and your job is to solve for x. Okay, so last week we used as a guide, we used a do-undo chart. Okay, the first thing to do is to look at x. What happened to x? x we was divided by 5, and then we added 9. Okay, so to solve for x, we go backwards. We work backwards. So we start from here. Instead of adding 9, we take away 9 first. And instead of dividing by 5, the opposite operation is multiplying by 5. Okay, therefore, the first thing we're going to do to solve for x is we're going to take away 9 from both sides. Okay, that'll cancel out the 9 here. 6 take away 9, negative 3. So that'll be x over 5 is equal to negative 3. The next thing we're going to do, opposite operation, is multiply both sides by 5. Therefore, multiply both sides by 5. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. That 5 will cancel out. So x is equal to negative 15. Okay, so let's move on to today's lesson. Okay, so moving on, our topic for today, again, we are still on linear equations, okay? Solving linear equations with more than one variable, okay? Remember the last time we dealt with only one variable? Today we're going to have a, it's going to be a more advanced lesson, more than one variable. Okay, so our key terms for today's lesson, um, linear equations, an algebraic expression, variable, equation, simplify, isolate, and substituting. Okay, um, something I, I thought I should bring up, very important before we begin. Okay, these are three important rules that I'd like everyone to, to take note of. Firstly, please take the time to review past lessons. Okay, if you're not familiar with the mathematical terms or mathematical jargon, you will not know what we are talking about. Okay, so it's very important that before viewing today's lesson that it would be a good idea if you go back, review some of your terms, okay, um, maybe go through some of your textbooks, okay. Many mistakes in high school are made because of this, okay. So if you don't know the proper words for terms, uh, numbers, variables, you will have no idea what we're talking about. Okay, the second rule, Remember that there is no such thing as solving too many problems in math. Okay, some students get tired like, oh, why do I have to do this again, again? Okay, but the, the lesson is the more problems you do in math, the smarter you get, the more experience you get. Okay, broadens your field of knowledge. And the last rule, be aware that there are many ways to sol solve any math problem. Okay, so some of you are used to one way. You may change schools or go to another country and there's another system to solve a problem, okay? But uh, the more methods we know, the more ways we can solve problems, the smarter we become, again, increasing our field of knowledge, okay? So be aware of that, okay? And the method we're going to talk about today is a very simple method that I think will be very useful for many of you. Okay, so moving on, solving linear equations with more than one variable. Okay, there are two main ways to do this, um, algebraically and by graphing, okay? Um, there are several ways to, do, to, do, uh, to solve these kind of problems algebraically, but we will be focusing on the most common, um, perhaps a more easier method of uh, substitution, okay? So uh, another thing to take note of within this uh, presentation, a lot of our equations will be in the format of AX plus BY plus C, is equal to zero. Okay, I have an, we have an example here. 4x plus 2y take away 8 equals zero. Okay, over here a is 4, b is 2, and c is negative 8. Okay, don't forget uh, to always take the mathematical operator on the left of the number. So that's not 8, that's negative 8, and that's positive 2. Okay, so we can change this into 4x plus 2y equals 8 by moving the 8 over there. And then we can move the, the x variable to this side, and then it becomes 2y 
equals to negative 4x plus 8, okay? And then we can divide both sides by 2, and we get y equals to negative 2x plus 4, okay? And that's the method that we were talking about um, in, the, in our lessons before previously. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is a gradient or slope, and uh, this, the value that comes after the x variable, b, is the y-intercept. Um, just a reminder that uh, another popular method that we will be talking about later on is called uh, uh, the elimination method. Okay, so more on that later. So let's move on. Okay, moving on. So solving a linear equation with more than one variable using the substitution method. Okay, so here we, we're going to look at uh, two equations. Okay, and the idea is, is to choose either of the two equations, for example, one, and find the value of one variable, okay? You can find the value of x or y. Um, in other words, we can make y the subject or make x the subject. So once we isolate x or make x the subject, for example, we, we substitute that value into the other equation, okay? Sounds a bit hard to understand, so let's, uh, let's work on an example now, okay? So here we have uh, two equations, two linear equations. So what we're going to do here is uh, isolate one of the variables. We're going to isolate x, and then we're going to take that value and put it in the x here. Okay? Remember that that x is the same as that x. That y is equal to that y. So if x is 5 here, then x is 5 here. If y is 2 here, then y is also 2 here. Okay? So we've taken equation 1. Okay, and what we're going to do now is make x the subject, okay? Or in other words, we're going to isolate x, leave x by itself, okay? So we're going to move this 2y to the other side, okay? Now that we have a value for x, x in terms of y, we're going to take that value and put it into equation 2, okay? This will be called equation 3. So equation 2, 2x take away 3y is equal to 12. We're going to take that value of x and insert it here, okay? We're going to substitute x in terms of y. So now we have two y variables, okay? y here and y here. What do we do after we have this? We're going to simplify, okay? And we're going to simplify using like terms. Put the y's together, twos on this side. So we're going to take that to the other side. Negative 4y take away 3y, negative 7y. Take that negative 2 over here. 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, so negative 7y equals to 14. Now we know that y is equal to negative 2. Okay, now that we've found the value for y, we can take that value for y, the negative 2, and put it back in equation 3. Okay, so we know that y is equal to negative 2. Substitute, substitute the value of y, and we get x equals negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 take away 1, therefore x is equal to 3, okay? So the solution of our linear equations is 3, negative 2, okay? That can, that can, that's also a point on the graph, okay? Remember, x, y, that's the value of x, that's the value of y. Okay, so our solution through substituting, how does it look on a graph? Okay, here was one of our equations and our other equation, equation 1, x plus 2y is equal to negative 1, and our equation 2, 2x take away 3y is equal to 12. So we have our two linear equations, okay? We can find out the, what's the line for this, what's the straight line? Remember linear equation, the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. So that is equal to that line, that is equal to that line, and where they intersect, where they meet, that is our solution, that was our answer. And remember, we found that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 2. So this is 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, and negative 2, 1, 2, going down. Okay, that's another way to look at the answer. Okay, thank you for that uh, brief lesson. Um, something I want everyone to think about. There is a, the other popular method to solve uh, linear equations instead of doing it um, through substituting, is we can use something known as the elimination method. Okay, elimination method. 
to eliminate. So I want all of you to think about what does that mean, to eliminate. Um, apart from that, thank you very much for viewing today's lecture. Hope to see you again next time with Everyday Seminar.